in this tutorial today we are going to learn how to use or install WordPress locally for offline work so for that you have to need XAMPP control panel version 3.2.1 and you have to start at this actions Apache and MySQL you can start it from here after this starting you can see here this will show you the running port number of Apache and MySQL if you what uh, after that if you want to check it is running correctly or not you can go to your browser write http colon double slash localhost colon 8085 or 85 which is your port number after colon then uh, separated by slash zamp which is your home page if you are seeing this page zamp for windows it is installed correctly and running successfully after that we need to create a database for installing WordPress locally. So go to your database PHP My Admin, create database. Let's say WordPress DB. After that, create. See database WordPress database has been created. see here it not contains any table kind of that so for that you have to use them after that htdocs go to the tutorials as I have created after that go to WordPress which is you can download this WordPress from wordpress.org which is his WordPress official website and then extract it you can extract it anywhere in htdocs but you have to use the htdocs folder and place your wordpress file i have created tutorials for just demo see it is completed after that go here just remove xamp and all that after that just write tutorials in that WordPress 3.9.1 which is the latest version of WordPress if you remember this thing whenever you are uh, downloading WordPress stable down download version from the its official website you are going to download its latest version only see create configuration file why this seems do doesn't seem to be a wp-config.php file I need this before we can get started okay see what he is saying he is saying there is no wordpress configuration file it is finding so for that we need to create wordpress config sample which is sample file allocated by wordpress framework just rename it to wordpress config open it on your any editor just give the database name you have created we have created wordpress db enter your username here by default it is root unless you change the username or password password is blank just save it your task is finished after that just reload this see this is showing automatically welcome page of wordpress after that give the site title less I given the my name as a blog you can create or anything like that you can give username anything you want after that you have to write your password twice give the pr uh, password as you can remember easily for offline work after that privacy allow search engine to index this site this allows you to index google kind of any kind of search engine to index your website and showing that results if you do uncheck this it will not index you in any kind of search engines after that install wordpress see 
C. Success. WordPress has been installed successfully. We are expecting more steps. Sorry to disappoint it. Okay. Username is admin. Password we are chosen. C. Login. You can remember me or anything like that. If you lost password, don't panic. I'll go to show you how to recover your password or change password from the database. It is taking some time. See, it shows here the dashboard. Anansa. Anansa is website. You can visit the website by clicking here. Home. See. This is a by default ready made te template available, which is showing you this is a template. See here is your site title, site slogan, and all that. See this is installed successfully. Suppose you forgot the password. So if you want to recover it, you have to follow these steps. Open PHP My Admin. Go to your database. See here, several tables are created automatically when you install the WordPress. After that, go to the WordPress users. See your password is showing this encrypted form. Now what you are going to do? Does anyone have idea? so you can edit it you can edit here you can change your password let's say I have changed my password on but it is not encrypted form so what you are going to do so for that you have to select there is a one function which is called MD5 which is using by WordPress after that just save here see automatically it's changed password after that whenever you reload it it shows you the password after that login see it, password is changed this shows you the updates and plugins see here is encrypted form get back and you have successfully changed your password thank you for watching video subscribe us on youtube like comment and share but don't forget to subscribe